How you doing? So y'all actually live here in these hotels? Yes. Can we, I'm going to need the light. Can you leave it open? Okay. Before you can tell me what's going on. Because she they call me. Yeah, if I can see you. Oh, you got a light in the room? Mm, well, no. That light don't work? No. They ain't fish your light bulb? No. Okay, what's going on? So, basically, let's go back here. Because okay. I got the shirt to go They probably say so. Okay. So, basically, it's like, they... When I first moved here, it was like paying monthly. Okay. He asked me how much could I afford. Right. So I told him what about six hundred dollars. So you pay six hundred dollars to stay here a month. A month. Okay. So this went on for a whole year. Okay. I would meet him at room either I think it was like one eleven or either one thirteen. Why you had to meet him at the room? Who was he? Um, Albert. Albert is the manager of the hotel. Yes. Okay. And the hotel name is uh, Econo Econ Lodge. Economy Inn on top of the drive. Okay. So it was like this went on for like a month. Okay. So then it was like not a month. I'm sorry, a whole year. I've been here over a year. Okay. So then it got to the point where I couldn't afford the six hundred dollars. Right. So I would give him like half in in the um, beginning, half at the end. So then maybe couple days ago somebody came and knocked on my door okay it was like we got to check out now keep in mind I just gave him a week ago $240 right and maybe like three days ago I gave him $300 okay so I'm like I just paid my rent right so how can you kick me out right it was like well Albert quit and he took all the money and he's gone so this hotel gives no receipts. Okay. So the owner was like, if you don't have a receipt, you have to check out. You don't get receipts anyway. Right. Right. So they don't get no receipts. They take y'all money, let y'all stay here. Abba stole the money, quit, and they didn't want to kick everybody out. Exactly. And, and what did you say to the owner? So the owner, I could never talk to the owner. I was talking to Mark. So it was like nothing, it was nothing they can do. All they're going to do is try to get the money back from Albert. Well, you're trying to get the money back from Albert. Okay. Albert's nowhere to be found. Right. So how many people money did he take? Numerous of people. From how many people live people? in this hotel right here? Uh, one. There's a lot of people. I don't know. So a lot of people are using this hotel for apartment. Exactly. Which is those supposed to happen anyway. What? Technically, no. Technically, no. Technically, you're not supposed to be here over, what, 30 days? Right. Been and you've been here for a year now. A year and some years. So, actually, you see you got your kitchen and stuff right here. Mm -hmm. You got your laundry. You see that she actually lived here in this hotel right here. It's a mess, but... It's, not, it's your home because you got to live in one room. This is her one room, so she lived in here. Now, why is your AC not on because it's hot? Um, this has been off since the wintertime. I had to cut the shower on to warm my room up. What? So I've been telling them, could they change out my unit for a minute? Right. So then it was this, um, the summertime came. So now it's hot as hell in here. Yeah. So you got And you cool in the room with a box fan. Exactly. So now it's like you got to beat on the air condition to, for it to work. And that's sometime. Wow. You see I'm sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating. It's hot in here. So now today... Um, Marvin tells me that I got to check out. And when or, when do you got to check out that? They told me I had to check out today. Are you checking out? No, I'm not. Okay, because you live here. I live. Did here. you know that by law they cannot kick you out once you, um, once you live here and you, you you made this your residence? Mm -hmm. They have to go through the courts to get you evicted. They just can't kick you out. Oh wow! Because you live here, and as you can see, you've been living here for a while, so you have established homeship here. So this is where this is your home. Exactly. So this is where you live at. In order for them to kick you out, they have to go through Norfolk City Courts oh, and get an eviction letter to get you out. So they told me today I had to pay fifty eight dollars for today. After I done paid all that money. How much money have you gave them in total? What? For this money? Oh, fifty eight dollars. Well no, I gave them five hundred dollars. Right, already. Which Abba's, was given to Albert. Right, which was their manager. Technically. So today I had to hustle up fifty eight dollars to give them. And how how many more people 
money have they taken like that? I heard it's people that, today. I heard it's more people living here that's handicapped. They trying to kick yeah. out as well. There's a lady in room. I think she's in room one forty five. If I'm not mistaken. Can you walk me around there? Where she at? She's in. She's at the corner. She's can you at, can you show me where she's at? Cause we gonna make sure they get this rectified, y'all. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young, reporting live straight out her. I want them to know this is where you live at. Yes. This is her home, okay? She have a refrigerator, she have her teddy bears and everything. This is her home, okay? This is where she live at. She did not just check in overnight. She been living here for over a year, okay? And um, what happened is they had a manager that was running this hotel. They quit. Allegedly, he quit this job. And so took the people money with him. I ain't gonna shut Um, they are telling people they have to get out the hotel, being that the manager quit and took everybody money that they was paying rent with with them. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young reporting live straight out of the hotel in Econo Lodge. There's another one right there. They got the lead. Huh? Oh, where? Right there. Oh, they got the lead too. Yep. Hey. I want to see women to talk. Hey, they took y'all money too? Did they take y'all money too? Did they take y'all money too? I'm doing a story. Can I talk to you for one second? I'm Rhoda Young. I'm doing a story on how they took everybody's money at this hotel. You guys, one second? You got one second? Okay, we good. We good. Okay. How you doing? How y'all doing? Th thank you. I'm doing an investigation on what's going on at this hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to make sure I get both y'all. I was informed that they took y'all money and they're trying to kick y'all out. Is that true? Yes. yes. How much? Disability. She got a wheelchair, a commode. She got a wheelchair, a commode, and a walker. A commode, walker. Broke, broke I broke my, my leg. leg. And you broke your leg. In this hotel. In this hotel. You broke your leg in this hotel. She's I got three bolts in my hip. Room two, Come on, 25 on top. 225. 225. Okay, you got two bolts in your hip. You broke your leg. Three in bolts. Three in bolts in your hip. How did you break your leg in this hotel? I asked Albert when he put something in the bathroom for the but um because the bathroom was too this toilet too too small too too low and he wouldn't do it and I kept slipping and I called him around about twelve o'clock and around about three o'clock I slipped again and I fell and I broke my hip. This is like my and I then run about like a month, like six weeks after being in the motel, I killed five mice. Wow. Five mice in one day. In one day. One day, baby. Why girl. your AC is not on? Because it's broke. Your AC, though, so y'all have no AC in this building? It's, it works Somewhere. when it want to. Yeah. Wow. How much money do you pay them to live here? Well, we pay, yeah. We pay uh, almost a thousand dollars a month. And then uh, it got snow in one winter. And, I, and when I went winter, I helped shovel the snow so I could make the economy for me. And, uh, and you saying three fifty a week? Yes, ma'am. So you paying three fifty a week to stay here? Yes, ma'am. And so what happened uh, on today? What happened when the owner came? Well, yesterday when I came home from work, because I'm a roofer working at ODU, because they opened up for the uh, stadium there. Mm -hmm. for the, um, New games they had for the and when I came home, my, my fiance was telling me that um, they was uh, putting people out. And we had just paid our uh, uh, money, but we never had no issues or anything because. If you go to any body room, my room is probably the cleanest because I clean everything. Right, and everything. We clean. Like the room look really nice. Y'all yeah, really look really I love nice. My room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I room. just get out the hospital with the money. Yeah, and uh, I, find out I that um, room. Albert. I mean, what's his name? Albert. Albert? Mm, yeah, that's Taking him. everybody's. God uh, took their money and they can't. Our uh, money. Our money. And now we got to get out. By the owner was just pick, kicked out this girl that had three kids and they wouldn't let her stay in there. And we threatened now to be kicked out by Friday, tomorrow. And she's disability and I've been trying to find some way to go. And we were just here for a short term, but we're part. We've been here in this hotel for two but, years. Yeah, but and three months. When she fell, she was in a um, 
hospital for a month or so, and then coming home, she was bedridden because she couldn't move or anything like that. She got three bolts in the head. And I asked two, that uh, man to fix uh, it. I asked, I asked him to fix this room. I thought I killed five mice. And yeah, we have the nurses coming here, home attendants coming here, and, uh, and he gonna uh, tell me I can't go outside with my walker. I got a walker. A pot, everything. He gonna tell me I couldn't go outside with my walker because I need to come in the room. He don't want me to be seen outside. Yeah, because the physical therapist. Yes, girl, and I and I have to have my physical therapist. They was trying to take my leg. Why? And it happened right here in this hotel. I stay. I laid on this in this. I laid on this floor for two and a half hours. The way my bone broke, the doctor said my leg should have been taken. Yeah, because she couldn't call nobody. She couldn't move. She couldn't move and you couldn't call nobody. Uh, and you yeah. laid in this hotel on the floor yes, for two hours till your old man got work. Yes, two and a half hours. And y'all paid them y'all paid them y'all rent money. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma We've been here two and a half years. We pay our rent, ma'am. Yeah. And Albert quit and stole everybody money and then they won't. He and stole everybody money. Everybody we, we money. We don't know if he went to Nigeria. Yeah, we they trying to say happened. he might have went to Nigeria. Oh, so they not explaining anything. They're just telling everybody to get out. Okay. Yes. Well, that's not happening because y'all see y'all have already made residency here. Y'all yes, paid rent. Y'all yes, been living here for yes, two yes, years. Yes, yes, How about this? By law, yes, if you live here, they have to get the courts to remove you. Yes, well, ma'am. They, they cannot put you out. Y'all yeah. live here. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. We're coming tomorrow when the cops come and they say we trust yes, we we No, you ain't trespassing. We got something else for this. Okay, room 215. I'll be back, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 215. Did she say 215? Do, are they trying to put y'all out as well? Yes. Okay, what's going on with them putting you out? You paid your rent already? I pay my rent every, every month. And they, the man, they, what happened with your rent money? Why they putting you out if you pay your rent money every month? Because they said we didn't give them a receipt. They didn't give us the receipt or nothing. And so they took y'all money. Uh -huh. The guy named Albert that quit. Yeah. And he took y'all money. And then the owners come down here and say ain't nobody yeah. pay. And he stole everybody money. And he yeah. didn't put y'all out. Yeah. How much money did you pay to stay? You paid to stay here. Six hundred fifty dollars to stay here uh -huh. a month. A very month. And you get when your check come, you get them six fifty. That's right. And then all of a sudden, since the man quit his job and took y'all money, they want to put y'all out. Yeah. All right. And when do y'all supposedly have to leave? Because tomorrow. Tomorrow. Some tomorrow. 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 Okay. Well, that ain't happen. Come and call the wavy TV team. I can't handle yeah. this myself. Yeah. If I can't get this myself. If this is a job too big for me, then Wavy TV 10 need to come out and assist me. If anybody's out there right now, if you can tag, did they, are they putting you out as well? Okay, are they putting you out too? <laughs> girl, you a fool, girl. You a fool. They putting you out after you paid your rent money. How y'all doing? Hey, girl. Hey, how y'all doing? So you telling me y'all paid y'all rent money. They telling y'all y'all got to get out. Yeah. How much money did you pay? Hey, my love, how you doing, baby? Yeah, about, about so, how much you got to pay a month? Uh, money is six hundred. And then they go and they don't start it back that week. You got to pay three hundred a week now. So it was uh, six hundred dollars a month. So what happened with y'all money? We ran off. With it. Oh, so the man Albert ran off with the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, fool. Well, your daughter your daughter look red like you too. Oh, you yeah. and your daughter look like twins. Oh yeah, but they took they took everybody. They money. took everybody money then. Yeah. They took everybody money and making y'all get out. Okay. Let me see your daughter. Tell your daughter come here, cause y'all look like twins. <laughs> hey girl, yo, your mama look like twins now. Ooh. So they took everybody money, and so the man quit and took everybody money and left. Yeah. And when y'all supposed to get out? <laughs> When they say y'all to get out, yeah, 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 yeah. ain't nobody getting out tomorrow. They got us fucked up. I'm going up in here. Right now, I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Live, where I am on this hotel on Tower of the Drive, Econo Lodge in Norfolk, Economy Lodge, Norfolk, Virginia. Well, y'all heard right here, these people has been living in these hotels for a year and also two years and paying $650 a month to live in one room where the AC and things like that are not working in this hotel. Um, the manager of this hotel, um, allegedly, he quit his job. And when he quit his job, he took everybody's money with him. Um, the owners came down here 
which these people have already been living on this property and telling the people since Alvin took their money and stole it, they are being evicted. Now we're going inside to the management. Oh, it's hot. How y'all doing? How you doing? Hello. I'm with the news, with the news, um, Rhoda Young Live with the news. And we have got several complaints about your manager named Albert. Uh -huh. You have tenants that's living inside of this hotel that have paid their money and y'all are y'all are illegally evicting them. We're not evicting no one. Okay, what's so what's going on? We, in fact, um right now we have no comment. No comment. No comment. Well we, what we're telling you is right now. According to Virginia state law, we're not these, evicting no one. Okay, but let me tell you something real quick, cause on the news. Okay, let me tell you before we make it a big story. No, let me tell you. Okay, let me. Okay, let me tell you this right quick. Okay, I turn it off. Okay, let me tell you this. Okay, okay, let me tell you this. My hands are down. My hands are clear. I'm gonna warn y'all on this day. The two, listen, 29th. You got people in here with disabilities. You already got one major lawsuit. And that lady fell in that hotel room. Broke her whole hip and got three screws in her hip. Y'all owe her money for that. Then you got people living in this hotel, and it's against the law to have people living in this hotel. But yet, over 30 days, but yet, guess what else you have? You are about to do an illegal eviction. You cannot evict nobody in the state of Virginia without a court order. You have you. Everybody's telling us on. I don't talk to some people. I'm, everybody's gonna. I'm gonna honor all of them. From the time they pay, I'm gonna honor them to their checkout. I already told them. That's right. That's the bottom line. I already told. I already took care of that. The person that did that is no longer with this company. Okay. So I'm how long are you get? You got to give them thirty days. No. From this day, thirty days to get out. No, no. I'm gonna honor the time they pay to the time they check out. No, you gonna honor them for thirty days because they live here. They live here. If you do anything else, no no all comment. right, no comment. No well, guess what? No I'm gonna line this up with Wavy News Ten to everybody. Y'all going to court? Illegal eviction. Y'all going down up in here? It's going down right here at the Econo Lodge on top of the Drive in Norfolk, Virginia. As I warned them, as I warned them, they got people living here and they're about to do some illegal evictions to these homeless people that resides in this hotel right here on top of the Drive in Norfolk, Virginia. These people has been living in poor condition, poor living condition. The AC do not work. I will leave the property, sir. When I get my vehicle off your property, I'm leaving. Thank you, sir. But this at the last that you're going to see or hear of me. Everything in this hotel needs to be shut down. And I'm calling the city of Norfolk Health Department on it. I'm pissed the hell off the way y'all doing these people. I'm pissed off. These ho yes, fucked up what they doing to these people. Y'all, they took all these people money and think they're going to kick y'all out. Now they're going to kick y'all out. They're going to pay y'all for having y'all living in these harsh conditions where the ac don't work where they don't took these people's social security checks and kicking these people out man how many years you been living here i've been here i came here this summer you've been here since december last year they can't just kick you out you stand by wait till i get the news on this stand by they cannot kick y'all out. Y'all live here. They don't have no working ACs and charging people all this money. Oh, bad bus now too. And bad bus now, bitch too. Huh? I'm getting the fuck off the property right now, sir. Fuck you. I'm getting the fuck off the property. Fuck you, yo. They doing some Shit, taking niggas money and shit, goddamn gone, not goddamn gone, giving niggas receipts and shit, taking niggas money, trying to put a nigga ass out for some bullshit. And somebody else with one of their workers stealing money, right? Trying to take that shit out on us, that shit fucked up. That shit real fucked up. I'm good though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, talking about you talking about everybody else yeah. that stay here. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. It's real fucked up. It's real fucked, fucked up. They got your money and they owe you, ma'am. Yeah. You need to take them to court for you busting your ass in their hotels. Yes. I want y'all to go straight to hell, sir. Sir, I want y'all to go straight to hell like y'all got these people living in hell. Don't piss me the fuck off. They don't piss me off. I am the infamous Miss Rhoda Young Life. Well, this shit is fucking absolutely ridiculous.
This stuff is absolutely ridiculous how they got these people out here living. They're saying that they have bed bugs. They're saying that they paid this money and the um, manager that quit or got fired stole their money. Now they're being evicted out this hotel. The hotel don't have no AC. The hotel has bed bugs. The hotel, one lady has fell and broke her whole hip and her um, leg where she got three screws in her hips and over like 40 stitches in her leg where she felt out the bathtub because the bathroom was too slippery and she warned them. I am the infamous Miss Road of Young Life and I'm not afraid to say when a story is too big for me and this story is too big for me, I'm going to hand this story over to Wavy News 10, Channel 3 or 13 News. I know my place and this is too big for me.